Okay, um, yeah, my name is Simon Fraser and I'm a committee member for the Luton Town Disabled Supporters Association. It was set up in September, October time, so the start of the new Football League season. There was a real emphasis on disabled voices within the club once we return to the Football League. Uh, is there a great demand for a Disabled Supporters Association? Yeah, the, the thing is there's a, there's a lot of disabled supporters at the club, actually more than can fit into the ground as it goes. Um, but there's often demand as well for away matches, so having this committee is a useful kind of platform with which fans can share good news stories, bad news stories about particular grounds to go to and also advice on attending home matches as well. Okay, well the overall aim is to enhance the match day experience for the for the fans, both home and away. And we we ensure this really by having our monthly AGM our monthly meetings. So within that meeting we will discuss issues that may have been a problem, whether it be for visiting fans or ourselves travelling to different grounds. Um, we're all about promotion of disability within the community as well, so we don't want people to be put off by thinking they can't attend match days. So my particular role is on the social media side of things, so both Twitter and Facebook, um, sharing stories of fans that have been to grounds, um, as well as ensuring that there is still a voice for those fans within the football ground itself on match days. To have a fair and accurate voice, we've got a couple of disabled fans ourselves, with a variety of disabilities, some physical, um, so they're a really good point of reference in terms of the the day to day kind of how how is it getting to the ground, issues such as parking, with transport issues are a big one as well. We're also keen to engage the season tickets that we have who are of a disability and actually find out from themselves firsthand how they find attending the matches. And in the last particular meeting, we actually had a mother of a disability child who attended their first football match, which is, which is a great example of, of you know, the, the club engaging in the community and that person now attends with their brother as a season to be older and those are the people that we want to get involved and actually hear their stories. Actually, the, the club in itself is really quite actively involved within the level playing field, so football is a great, it's a great tool with which to teach kind of the life skills and encourage social inclusion across across the region, so the club almost has a bit of a kind of responsibility to act as that, as that method of getting people involved. It's, it's been here longer than we've all been here, it's still going to be here, so the more an active part it plays, the better, to be honest. How did you come to be involved with the Disabled Supporters Association? Um, I, I work for MenCap, which in itself is a disability charity, and I'm an employment coordinator, trying to get people with learning disabilities into employment or social inclusion schemes, so it seems a, a natural fit actually to try and offer some kind of level of expertise to the club as well in terms of clients that I may be dealing with that overlap, that was looking for work but also their social side of it, football is their main, is their main thing, so it's a good kind of dual. Is, um, is it easy to, to become a member of, um, of the Disabled as well? Yes, it's, it's completely free, I mean it will be probably kicking off start of next season, the 2015-2016 season. It's a free membership with which all members would also be invited to the annual, uh, the annual general meeting as well, so they can raise any issues that they themselves may have um, experienced in the last season over at the kind of road. So yeah, it's, um, it's something that we are wanting to push and get more and more people involved in. Even in the time that I've been a fan, it's become a far more kind of multicultural environments being full stop, so whether that be people of different ethnic origins or disabilities, I think increasingly so, they're seeing that it's not such a such an ordeal to go on a Saturday afternoon to the football, it's, it's very accessible, it is, it's, you know, it's decent prices and that side of things, but it's a fun day out where you can meet your friends, I've got many people there that I only see on match days, I don't know them in any other realm of life and that, there's no reason why that can't become the same for other people.